Old Slick Willie has advice for Trump on impeachment. Ignore it, he says. As you know, Bill Clinton had impeachment proceedings against him in the late 90s that passed in the House, failed in the Senate. Likely what would happen if these things went through today. Uh, but Clinton actually did something. He lied about having sex with woman, woman on camera. Well, he lied on camera. He didn't have sex on camera. He still didn't get impeached. So if you think Trump is going to get impeached in this current situation, good luck with that. My message would be, look, you got hired to do a job, Clinton said during a phone interview with CNN. You don't get the days back you blow off. Every day, an opportunity is an opportunity to make something good happen. Maybe I should try a Clinton impression in here. And I would say I've got lawyers and staff handling this impeachment inquiry, and they should just have at it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to work for the American people. That's what I would do. I would work for these people. I'd not have sex in the Oval Office. So I checked out the polls for Clinton during the impeachment process in 98 and 99 uh, just to see where people were voting or where they were leaning because we see a lot of polls right now about would you impeach Trump, would you like him out of office, such and such. So according to CNN in 1998, I found... Polls conducted during 98 and early 99 showed that only about one-third of Americans supported Clinton's impeachment or conviction. However, one year later, when it was clear the House impeachment would not lead to the ousting of the president, half of Americans said in a CNN USA Today Gallup poll that they supported impeachment, but 57% approved of the Senate's decision to keep him in office. And two-thirds, which is 67%, of those polls said the impeachment was harmful to the country. Fast forward to now, and we have Politico, as of November 13th, uh, saying a new poll shows 50% of voters support the impeachment inquiry, compared with 41% who oppose it. In early October, 50% of voters supported it, while 44% opposed it. The new survey shows that 49% of voters support the House impeaching Trump, and 48% support the Senate removing him. Have things changed, really, with the way people... Uh, perceive impeachment proceedings with the way they perceive the president's conduct. I mean, when you go from Bill Clinton, that's pretty ridiculous context <laughs> conduct to be, you know, slamming people in the Oval Office, to be completely honest. And then you go to Bush and um, Obama, who were slightly malaise is a word I'm not sure if I'm using correctly, but I'm going to use it. A little bit more mellow in the Oval Office compared to now and compared to then. Now, I don't have a poll on whether or not people think currently impeachment would harm the country, but I, I think it's a testament to the news media uh, that 66% of people... Like in 1998, you had the president lying on camera, okay? And it was he was already impeached in the House, but about the same amount supported impeachment then as they do now, but more and more people proved of keeping uh, Bill Clinton in office, and 66% said it was harmful to the country. So I think that's a testament to the news media now and the narratives and the climate, as they say, around the media, that even with lying about the subject in question on camera, as Bill Clinton did, two-thirds of people said this would still be a bad thing. Back to Big Willie Styles' quotes, though. CNN asked him about Trump not updating the assault weapons ban, and he said this, I mean, I think what happened was Trump did indicate a couple times he might go along with this, and then obviously the gun lobby got a hold of him and pulled him back. Now, I find it interesting that they didn't think to ask Bill Clinton about uh, something. To, I mean, this is related for sure, but it's. I would have rather they asked him about criminal justice reform. I mean, a journalist really being a journalist instead of throwing him softballs, which they would love to do at CNN, and which they did do. I would like to know about the criminal justice reform, since Bill Clinton's crime bill is what put most of these same people in prison, or at least people who have committed similar crimes, which they may not be going to jail for a long time for anymore. But this is CNN. That's their tagline. It makes sense. This is CNN, says Darth Vader. It's interesting to hear Bill's perspective on this as a guy who went through the impeachment proceedings, whether you think that uh, he should have been impeached for that or not, or if you think Trump should be impeached for this or not. The fact is, if you had Trump on camera the way Joe Biden's on camera talking about withholding money from somebody, it would be a completely different story. If you had Trump on camera lying in a direct address to the American people like Bill Clinton did, it would be a completely different story. So it's interesting to hear Clinton's perspective on this because it seems like you kind of get some honesty out of it and non-bias out of him in this. 
his perspective on it is very unique is all i'm trying to say as it would be unique on let's say things about jeffrey epstein uh not being a person who committed suicide or using the blood of the young and innocent to keep <laughs> staying alive for all these years i mean if you look at trump and clinton side by side uh one looks like he's been alive for a thousand years in bill clinton and one looks like he's an old man who's in relatively good shape but doesn't realize that fake tanning can go too far 